Greetings, this is Jeff, and I'm going to show you how to use the Picture Frame tool in UDoodle. The tool can be accessed from the toolbox on the bottom right, and then by tapping Frames. There's a Templates category, which are plain white frames that you can easily reskin, so I'll show you those first. I'm going to select this circle frame. Now you can pick any texture you want or use the color wheel, which is over here on the left. I'm just going to go ahead and pick this texture and tap Choose. There's a filter button in the bottom right. This color wheel does a lot more than let you tint colors. It lets you use any filter in UDoodle on the frame. Probably the easiest one to do is the tint filter. I'm going to make this blue. Okay, once you've picked your frame, you'll notice a checkerboard pattern or more than one of these for frames that have multiple spaces for images. When you tap that, you get the options to load photos into the frame. I like to use this horse, so I'm going to use the horse and put him into my frame. The default cropping fits exactly into the frame, but if you want to do more of a custom crop, you can expand this to encompass the whole image. And then that way when it gets inserted, then you're responsible for resizing it and fitting it into the frame. That looks great. I'm going to tap Done. If you tap the Layers tool, you'll see that the frame itself is on the foreground and the image is on the background. That lets you easily modify the frame with drawing tools without messing up the actual image in the frame. Okay, let's show you one of the normal frames that doesn't have a template. There's lots of seasonal frames. Easter's coming up, so let's pick an Easter frame. Uh, you can again go back and tint this to different colors. We'll make it a little more green. And just like before, you can put an image in there. Now if there were multiple spaces, you would tap each of those spaces, insert your image, and then only tap down once all the images were inserted. So let's show you one of those. How about a Valentine's frame? Let's pick one of these that has two. Now you, I, you can also rotate the frame, so that's kind of handy. So let's quickly insert a couple of horses here. Take the default crop, it fits exactly. Let's put a horse in that bottom part. Going a little fast here, but this is just to show you how this works. Okay, and then you can double tap to zoom out or zoom back in. There's your two horses. Now that I've put in all my pictures, now I can tap done. And then if we look at this layers tool, there we go. There's our horses, there's our frame, and we have a nice composited result. If you want a, your frame all on one layer, you can tap the layers tool and do a merge to foreground or background. And then that way your frame would be all on one layer. Okay, one final thing. You can actually make your own custom frames in UDoodle, so I'm going to show you how to do that now. Typically for this, I would start off with a blank canvas. When you tap draw on top of a photo, one of your options is to do blank. And then I probably want a portrait aspect ratio. Three by four should do nicely. Now, if I go to the eraser tool, I can start cutting some holes out for pictures. Whoops, that didn't do anything. I probably need to merge to foreground because this white stuff's probably already on my background and that doesn't help me at all. Okay, there we go. Now I can make some spots for my pictures. This is going to be very artistic, so be warned. We need to save this somewhere. I usually save to Dropbox. When I go to the Frames tool, you can see in the top right there's this little image chooser button. I'm going to use that. I'm going to pick Dropbox and I'm going to pick my newly created image. You can use filters on this, rotate just like any other image, but I'm just going to tap Done to bring that in. Now I'm going to tap on one of these regions. Let's add some horses. 
I'm going to go pretty fast here. Double tap out to get zoomed out there. Let's bring in some more horses. Oops, didn't want the camera roll. I want to bring in horses. How about this one? Ooh, that's a big file. Okay, and then let's do one more horse. That's kind of a funny crop because my frame area is so long, but that's fine. We'll not care. This is my very artistic custom made you doodle frame with four horses. So with any image, wherever you make transparent areas, they become areas where you can insert images into your frame. So go to town with these. You can turn any image or background into a frame simply by erasing images, erasing the foreground with the eraser. Just remember, you need to make sure that your image is on the foreground, otherwise the eraser is not going to do anything. All right, well, this concludes the frame tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Please email me at support at udoodle.net if you have any questions. And please, please tell your friends about Udoodle and share your images on Instagram and Facebook. Have a great day.